We have here is a Celestron. Celestron is a really renowned brand for telescopes. So it's a Celestron Astromaster 127 EQ. So it's 127 EQ, that is 127 millimeter, and the diameter of this is 4 millimeter. So 4 millimeter, we can, it's hot, actually not that big, it's a very much bigger than a telescope. But same as uh, besides tech, I also like to see uh, the moons and stuff, so I bought this. I was just out of curiosity to test it out. So this here is a red dot site, as you can see. So the red dot site is actually used to locate where one object you're going pointing. So suppose you want to find the moon, so you need to uh, point the red dot site onto the moon, and then the telescope will find this automatically. Another thing that this telescope is equatorial mount. The parts of having a neutral mount is because it's a variety of field of view, so you can be able to move it like quite smoothly. And because, if, as you guys know, the Earth is spinning, so the planets and stars that actually stay does not stay in the location of the, of the telescope for a long time. They tend to move. They move like in every one minute. They move quite per millimeter, so they might go out of the telescope magnification as well. So you need the equatorial mount to really help you to slowly move and catch up to the planets. As you can see, it's quite moving. So here I'm using the Alpha Sky, this is 7mm and 21mm, which is the type of here, here is the brand of every body. And this is Alpha we are actually going to be able to see and look at any piece of magnification as we want. So that is pretty much about the telescope. This telescope also has a tray on here, which is where you can mark your tray and two right pieces. I have several more right pieces that I have, but I actually need to bring all of them because this is the primary one that I use. So without further ado, let's go and see some planets, shall we? So I am now trying to locate the planets where they are to find them. You can visit the website timeanddate.com and they will tell you exactly where the planets are. So let us focus on our first planet, the gas giant Jupiter. This is how Jupiter looks through a telescope. This is the biggest planet in our solar system and it's situated 768 million kilometers away from Earth. Looks mesmerizing, doesn't it? Now we are talking about Saturn. The planet that is surrounded by a ring. This is one of the most beautiful planets that is out there in our solar system. So the ring you can see, we can see the ring very clearly through our telescope. And the ring is actually made out of asteroids that surround the planet and this makes it look like a beautiful ring. And distance from Earth is 1 billion kilometers, which is really far away. But still this looks like a faint star in the sky beside Jupiter and can be found well with the telescope beautiful now we come to venus or the morning star this planet looks like a crescent moon on the sky and is visible early in the morning or at or during the early afternoon periods this is situated 43.19 kilometers away from earth and can only be seen one side due to the sun's time falling on this direction lastly we have our moon so the moon looks incredibly beautiful at night. This shot was taken during the supermoon event 2020 that happened a few days back this month. The moon kind of looks orangish and it is much bigger and much more visible through the telescope than any other day. You can look at every craters and everything and the moon looks so beautiful through the telescope. The moon is situated 284,000 kilometers away from the earth. This might seem less, but still it's not very less because even if you go by car at 100 km speed, it will take you 106 days to reach the moon. And if you have made this far, thank you so much for watching and comment down below which planet is your favorite. For me personally, I loved Saturn the most and I hope you enjoyed today's video.